Well, hello, Bob Dendry here and welcome to Planet Zoo. Yes, this is going to be the next series I do. Uh, things are going to be a little bit different with this one though. I, I think they're going to be fairly short, sharp videos where I just focus on building an enclosure like for one animal and doing a little bit of work on the zoo in the side as well. So let's jump in. We're going to go and join franchise mode and um, yeah, see how we go. So I do already have one zoo, Sydney Zoo, which I've not played in a very, very long time. Um, so we need to find where we're going to do our second zoo. And maybe potentially grassland North America. What, what's Sydney? Where is that at? Is that grassland as well? Okay, now we'll go temperate North America then. Just for something a little bit different. Cool. Uh, we'll go medium. I think we'll go with sculpted. So that gives us sort of a, not a, just a completely flat zoo. And we're going to call this uh, Andrew North America. And that's as long as it can be. So cool. <laughs> so let's jump in and start building our wonderful zoo. Alrighty, what are we looking at here? Oh, so we've got a few different things we can see here. Got a fair bit of area here and some so, sort of cool, almost like a volcano in there, isn't it? <laughs> So I think what we'll do with this first episode is we'll get a nice little sort of plaza, joining plaza, whatever you want to call it. And we will also um, get a sort of a single exhibition exhibit right near the entrance. So I think what we want to do to start with, I want to get a nice sort of massively wide path. Let's see, um, probably want it to be wider than that, but that's okay. And maybe give it, yeah, this five length here. Snap it to a 90 degree. And so that gives us something that we can sort of start laying down a little, um, a little plaza area on. Alrighty, so we'll start to get down a few little bits and pieces. So we'll get a no donation box sort of right at our entry or exit. So people remember to make a donation as they're leaving the zoo. And probably want to have some ATMs as well, but we'll probably do a little sort of short path coming off there that they can uh, go and withdraw from. So just nice. Oh no. Ah, that was a disaster. <laughs> okay. Get a couple of ATMs. Maybe get a little bit of shelter or something over there as well. I think it's fine for the moment. We might get a uh, sort of wrap that road around and we'll have a few sort of food um, places here. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. I'll like take up the whole area, but I think that's I actually think that's lovely. We might get that in there. Bernie's bakes. You can maybe get a couple of trees and stuff around it just to make it look a little bit cooler. It's not 100 percent or not completely 90 degrees, but it's okay. Cool, and we can get some seating sort of around here as well. Maybe we might get a couple of. Um, more food stands on the other side as well, potentially. So get a drink shop. Let's try and get it uh, more or less. And probably a food shop as well. Nice, so you got some options there for food as you come into the zoo. 
and then we might have our first exhibit like right here. So you walk up to it and you can pretty much just walk straight into the zoo and see your first exhibit. Important alert requires attention. Brain bar fender, no accessible. Uh, yeah, we need to uh, lay down that stuff as well, don't we? Uh, we might just quickly pause because <laughs> I mean, we don't have anything going on right now. We've got, maybe people can come into the zoo to have some lunch or something like that. Mm, I don't know. So we need to work out where we're going to put our star facilities. I, probably, I don't expect many guests to be walking back here. So it might be an option. Uh, actually, we want these to be staff parts as well. And it'll stop our uh, zoo visitors from walking in there. They don't like to be able to see the staff buildings. <laughs> um, so we should do like a reasonably good job of screening them. So uh, they can't see them as they're walking around. I mean, I think, I think the staff buildings in zoos are fascinating. I think they're quite cool. But, you know, that is what the game wants. Um, I'm going to put down some very basic buildings. So we're just going to use our um, sort of undecorated ones right now anyway, because um, we you know, don't really have the money for much else. And we'll have the opportunity to expand those as we go on. That's annoying. <laughs> Um, so that should be fine, and we'll just get some screening up while we're uh, thinking about this. I think some like uh, reeds or something like that. No, maybe some bamboo. Okay, and that's a start. Oh, we do need bathrooms as well, actually. Can't forget that. <laughs> that would be a very Unfortunate zoo if you could not go to the bathroom. We'll just go with a basic one. Which we can just sneak in over here, I think. Cool. Alright, and now we're good to start laying down our first enclosure. So I'm going to be using an enclosure from, or a, an animal from the new uh, Wetlands Animal Pack, I believe it's called. The, just one that's come out now. And let's have a look at our Zoopedia. What I would like to go for is some capybaras. I think these are wonderful animals, giant rodents. <laughs> and let's have a look and see what they need. So they don't. So their natural biome is not temperate, which means we might need to do some work to, to be able to keep them. Uh, their group size is 4 to 20, so they're quite, um, quite tolerant of large groups, which is good. Males have a dominance hierarchy, but they don't sort of mate for life or anything like that. We could potentially let our guests into the habitat, though I don't think we're going to do that quite yet. And was there anything else? Uh, here we go. So if we want to start with maybe four, which is the minimum uh, that will be a, sort of a healthy group, we need at least 429 square meters and 100 square meters of water. So it's going to be a decent sized uh, habitat for sure. So we need a grade two. So only we're okay with just chain link. And it needs to be 1.25 meters. Uh, I'm going to angle snap to 90 as well here. Apparently. And we're going to do, yeah, nice. Large habitat, I think. Nice. So we'll do this whole thing at once. Put it down to 1.25 or thereabouts. Perfect. That saves us a little bit of money as well. And I think we should be good to now sort of start planning out the exhibit and what we want to see in it. Uh, so they do need hard shelter. They also need some water. 
So I think getting some water down will probably be the first thing we need to do. And so I'll just push, push the ground down here a little bit. And let's get some water in. It's not a lot of water. <laughs> we probably need to push down a little bit more, which we can't. So we'll need to cancel that and push all of this down a little bit deeper. Okay, that should be a bit better now. Yeah, that's much better. Alright, what I'm going to try and do here... ...is make a little cave that they could potentially uh, come into. I don't know how it'll work. Um, but I hope it will, because I think it would be really cool if they had a little cave that they could uh, rest in. And get some like some beds and stuff like that. So can I push into into this sort of? Okay, um, I think that is quite good. Trying to smooth this out a little bit. Might in fact just push it just the tiniest bit to allow it to be a little bit easier to get in. And uh, what we might do now is get uh, set up for our capybaras to go in there. We'll get them in there and then we'll like pause um, so we can get an idea of what else we need. I think we've probably got enough hard shelter, but we might need a little bit more. And we'll need to obviously get some enrichment items in as well. Alrighty, so we will go to animal trading. We'll... Okay, we're already built it for capybaras, apparently. <laughs> and we need probably a couple of males and a couple of females. So we've got a uh, albino one here, which is interesting, but I think we might just go with the regular... Um, you know, regular furred ones at the moment. So there's no fertility with this one. This one's a little bit smaller, but it's otherwise pretty good, so we might adopt that one. I've also got it filtered on females only. And what males do we have? This one's probably quite good. We just need one more female, which we might need to pay a little bit extra for. This one looks quite good as well. So we've got four capybaras, that should handle the sort of social aspect. And then if we go to our uh, animal storage, as you can see, we've actually got quite a few from my other zoo. <laughs> um, and but we'll get these four and we will send them to the zoo. Oops, and we'll put them in there. Apparently there's no path to the destination. No. Um, I don't see why not. Maybe we need to unpause to allow it to sort of recognize the path or something like that. Let's try that again. Okay, perfect. Uh, we also need some zookeepers and stuff as well. <laughs> Actually, so we'll um, need to go on there. We'll probably get a... We need definitely a vet. Um, you, can just, you can just hang out in the zoo. need probably well, maybe start with two keepers and maybe a caretaker as well so that should be and our vet is already helping out <laughs> they're keen as they want to get the animals in there good to go so we're definitely gonna have to modify some of the um like the ground i think we've got way too much long grass um but we can easily do that once we can see um what this capybara would like.
Oh, look at that. Mercedes has arrived. Having a good smell of the ground there. Okay, so Mercedes, what do you like? So you need more enrichment, obviously, because you've got nothing at the moment. Ah, but straight into that hard shelter that we designed for some. So that is really cool. It's good to see. And what sort of enrichment can we use for you? Oh, we've got quite a few options, actually. Got a little plant screen. Which we might put sort of in front of our zookeeper entrance so you can't immediately see it. A little feeder box we could put. Oh, it's not very deep, is it? <laughs> we definitely need to make this um, deeper because <laughs> it's a bit silly right now. Um, but we'll get a couple more little bits in here for them. A barrel feeder would be nice. Yeah, they would probably like a nice block as well, I think. Um, but these... Let's get these moved out of the way for the moment. Um, we might have to sell that one. Or we'll delete it. Okay. But other than that, how are you feeling about it? So I need more toys, and that is fine. We can do that. Um, terrain is a little bit off as well. And we'll get some beds. Maybe some small ones then. Um, actually, that's all right. We can, we can actually... That will work fine if we do that. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Smooth it out a little bit more. Make it soil again. Nice. So I'm going to uh, fix this water. It needs to be deeper. It's like sort of waiting depth at the moment, and they do love to have a, a proper swim around, I think. So get rid of that. Sorry, Capybara. <laughs> and we're just going to push that down a bit. I'm going to have a proper, proper swim in there. Okay, I think that is looking much better. Can we get you moved now? Perfect. And we might get that boy there again. Let's unpause as well. There we go, that's a bit better. And they're straight back into it again. Alright, and what do they need now? Tiny bit of terrain work we need to do, and some coverage as well, so they need a little bit more shade. Um, and they need a little bit less rock as well. So where is rock? Is, I'm guessing this is rock here, potentially. No, I'm guessing not. So where is the rock? Okay, yeah, must have been that then. So instead of having a rock mound, they're having a dirt mound. Cool. And environment, so they need, yeah, they definitely need some, uh, some trees. So what they want, uh, aquatic grassland or tropical trees from South or Central America. So we've got quite a few different options here. I 
damn those uh, tall trees aren't they <laughs> um, I'd love to get some trees but maybe something a little bit smaller though Okay, so they got plenty of coverage now, and I think we might need... We just need some more toy enrichment. Oh. So maybe just get them a few little bits and bobs around the place. A sprinkler. And that should be all they need. So they are... Oh, nutrition. Oh, yeah, we... um. We also don't have any food for them either, do we? We've only got the, like, treats, so they <laughs> will need that. Let's get them a little food trough that they can, uh, eat at. And probably a water pipe as well. Yeah, that should be all they need, and they're all, uh... Oh, look at that. They're all playing around in the, uh, in the lake. That is very cool. Well, there you go. That is our first exhibit in place. And that is going to be out it for this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. You can find links to my social media in the description, so please get on there, like, subscribe, follow, do all that wonderful stuff, and also have a look at my Discord server if you want to join the conversation. You can also find a link to my Buy Me A Coffee should you wish to give something a little bit financial to the channel. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry, this is Planet Zoo, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.